Good afternoon, everybody. I'm going to try to mix things up a bit. This is not going to be your typical vendor pitch, and it may be interesting for some of you to have the opportunity to hear what I have to say. The times are changing. I look around the room, we've got a number of different vendors here, and many of them will shake their heads because, like Reduxio, we are the disruptors in this marketplace. Right? I have been, in my 25-year career, a client and partner for 25 years. Okay? I always pride myself on really keeping up with the analysts, keeping them apprised of what's going on, and, and having a symbiotic relationship. For many, many, many years, Gartner did not take startups seriously. They were, if not hostile, downright skeptical about startups. They're not skeptical about startups today. If you go and look at Gartner Research today, what they will tell you unabashedly is you, if you are thinking about your business and the long-term health of your business, you will look at startups, okay? Because big companies just cannot innovate quickly enough, period, right? Now, my next door neighbor, so we're living in an entrepreneurial renaissance like no other, and I don't need to go into why, okay? So we have, at Reduxio, always been um, really cognizant of first design principles. So we know that people think a lot about time travel, right? It's one of the things mankind is fascinated about. What would happen if we could actually go back in time? And we've had thousands of pop culture movies. Of course, some of the best ones are Back to the Future, and then uh, one of the great American cultural exports of all time, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, okay? I mean, I can't believe it didn't win every Academy Award offered that year. The thing was brilliant, okay? The, the acting, everything, the plot, it was phenomenal, okay? Amazing, right? And so, of course, the construct is when you travel back in time, you need a time machine. Simple, right? Yeah, okay, time machine, I got it. Got that, okay? So, Reduxio has been paying attention to what's going on in the market, as I'm sure you all do. And I, I would be shocked to know that any of you have not been thinking about ransomware attacks as an example. About 5,000 occur every day in the United States, according to the FBI Cybercrime Unit, okay? And so, you know, one of the questions is, well, this happened in San Francisco, it's happening all over the world, it's happening all day, every day. This happened at the, the, the light rail union in San Francisco not that long ago. People broke into the system, and for three days they shut down the system. Wouldn't it be cool, wouldn't it be cool if we can sort of just make time go backwards? What would, what would that look like if we no longer had to worry about having uh, cyber hackers come in and encrypt our systems that we could laugh at? And we can say, you know what, we're going to go back just one second before the attack, and we're going to recover your system in a few minutes with a couple of clicks of the mouse. How would that look? Okay. And of course, when you go out to the venture capital community and you tell them that this is what you're thinking, and you have a team of people that are prepared to do it, what they say is, it's impossible. We're going to eliminate snapshots. We're going to eliminate the need to put any time and energy and thought into managing and protecting our data. Okay? But what Reduxio said, when we went out and raised money and we actually started to build it, it's impossible as nothing. We took our cue from one of the protagonists in the early part of the story, Mr. Ali. Impossible is a big word thrown around by small men who find it easier to live in the world they've been given than to explore the power they have to change it. Impossible is not a fact, it is an opinion. It is a it's not a declaration, it's a dare. Impossible is nothing. And so we went out and we built a time machine. And we were issued a patent on this time machine. Uh, I have the press release here up front. It will be going out uh, fairly soon. And the time machine is for storage system and methods for time continuum data retrieval. We have negated the need to do snapshots, and we have completely changed the way that people manage and protect their data today. So as an example, this is what our time machine, it's an appliance very much the way the iPod is an appliance. And of course, most of the value is in the software. But at the same time, you know, what you have to understand is, and again, I'll talk about reduction now for a second here. Uh, not that far from here on the Cape, we have the Barnstable Police Department. The Barnstable Police Department is one of the largest police forces in the state of Massachusetts. They have three police offices. They have about 130 sworn officers. They have 200 employees. Um, about a month or so before we actually met them, they had uh, an outage. And it took them four days to recover their data. We then, and my colleague Dimitri, who's going to get up in a few minutes, and he's going to take you through another use case with another one of our customers, Lehman Bank, they were hit by a ransom attack. 
And as their files were being encrypted, our customer, Craig Hurwitz, who's the director of IP of the Barnesville Police Department, contacted Dimitri. Dimitri was actually on his way to Logan Airport to fly to Tel Aviv to our technical development center. And Dimitri, along with one of our customer support guys, Daniel, were able to allow this organization to recover all of its data up with, with just one minute of data loss. Okay, so the recovery time objective, uh, recovery point objective was one minute. And we were able to bring them back online in less than 20 minutes without any need to pay ransom. And so this mission critical operation was back up and running and protecting its 50,000 citizens and the 150,000 tourists that come to the town up in literally 20 minutes, okay? So this is what a time machine looks like in the real world, okay? So what I'd like to do is I wanna just introduce my colleague, Chip Ernst. Chip runs the Northeast for Reduxio. He's been on board now close to two years. Uh, we've built a great business here in the Boston area. We've got a great base of customers. Reduxio as a company, we've got about 150 systems in the field. We've got a very, very strong presence in education. We've got the Technion Institute in Israel, the MIT of Israel, University of Georgia, University of Southern California, the Virginia Polytechnic Institute are some of our customers, many unified school districts. We've got a significant presence in state and local government, the California Public Utility Commission, the town of Barnstable, the Barnstable Police Department, the town of Thousand Oaks. We've got a very significant presence in the world of manufacturing, Nissan Foods, the people that fed us our ramen noodles when we were all going to college is a customer. The Israeli uh, defense industry, Elbit, uh, the people that make the Uzi submachine gun, Array Network, so we've got a lot of manufacturing customers, a lot of professional services companies, and an increasing number of MSPs as well. So over the last five quarters, uh, we have quadrupled the size of our sales force, um, and we've got a significant number of referenceable customers, all of whom have been captured on video on our website. And thank you for your time and attention.